Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a very short video and uh, this is from Mr. Sedra's book on electronic devices and circuits. Uh, here we'll be solving exercise 4.5 and this is on the request of a student. So let's see the question. The figure E4.5, this figure, shows a circuit of AC voltmeter. So this is the AC voltmeter circuit. It utilizes a moving coil meter that gives a full scale reading when the average current flowing through it is 1 milliampere. So first of all, moving coil meter is something like this. There's a coil here which moves when the current flows through it and it moves towards right up to this point. This is the full scale. Similarly, you can see from here when it moves right, this will be the full scale. Okay. The meter, uh, the moving coil has a resistance of 50 ohms. So this moving coil uh, has an internal resistance of 50 ohm. And there is a resistance of value R is uh, added. This gives us the uh, calibration, how to calibrate. Now in this case, what he's asking is that if we find the value of R that results in the meter indicating a full scale reading when the input sine wave is 20 volt peak to peak. So when we apply a 20 volt peak to peak, this meter should show a full scale reading. And the answer is also given the value of R is 3.133 K. So basically, uh, this is our circuit. The input is 20 volt peak to peak. And for full scale, 1 milliampere current should flow through it. Okay, so uh, let me replace this with the uh, input signal so it gives a better view. So we have a sinusoidal signal of 20 volt peak to peak. This diode is rectifying this, so it will be rectified and it will only have the positive half air. And the average value of this is Vp over pi. We call this value as V1. And that means that we are actually applying V1 voltage at this point. So this is the circuit that we have to now consider. Input voltage, current, this resistance R, this resistance 50 ohm. Okay, so from, from, from this, Vp over pi, V10. Now, remember this is 20 peak to peak. That means half of it is 10 volt. So 10 volt is V peak divided by pi. So V1 is 3.183 volt. And the current formula now we can apply I is equal to V over R. So I is equal to V1 over R plus 50. And uh, uh, it's shown here also given in the question that uh, the uh, maximum average current is flowing is 1 ma milliampere for full scale deflection. So we'll use that. So 1 milliampere here. This volt is 3.18 and the resistance R plus 50. So from here, R plus 50, we can calculate to be 3183 ohm. So moving 50 on the other hand side, R is 3133 ohm or 3.133 kilo ohm. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.